The federal retrial of two men for plotting to kidnap Governor Whitmer went differently this time. Unlike this past spring, when a jury could not reach verdicts on either defendant, this jury found Adam Fox and Barry Croft guilty on all counts. Those include conspiracy to kidnap and conspiracy to acquire a weapon of mass destruction. Croft is also convicted of possessing an unregistered destructive device. Sean Lay is live in Grand Rapids with reaction to the verdict. And Sean, uh, we already know that an appeal is coming in this. More appeals, you're exactly right, so this is not over. And you're right, this was a new trial, a retrial, which means a different jury, and you can see a different outcome. Guilty on all counts, Adam Fox and Barry Croft. A jury saying they did indeed plan to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer and use a homemade bomb to pull it off. Joshua Blanchard is the attorney for Barry Croft. He fought hard in court, trying to expose FBI tactics that he said went over the line. He tells me an appeal is on the way. Is there an appeal that you will seek? Of course. And because the main question would be, would it be about the jury? Would it be about the not being able to have the exact witnesses you wanted to call? There are a ton of issues in this case. Uh, you know, that'll be part of the briefing process, but we've got some steps to take before we get to that. This is the second time the government has gone after Fox and Croft. Last spring, a jury dealt the U.S. attorney for the Western District of Michigan an embarrassing loss when they found two of the men not guilty and could not come up with a verdict for Fox and Croft. This time, U.S. attorney Attorney Andrew Burge says the jury is sending a clear message to extremists and domestic terrorists. The verdict confirms that this plot was very serious, very dangerous, opposed a threat not only to the governor personally and her family, but also to innocent bystanders and to basic social order. Back here live, the governor says she will not let extremists get in the way of the work she is trying to do, although she is the victim of crime here. Uh, in the meantime, Fox and Croft are going to be sentenced. That'll take about 90 days for a pre-sentence investigation. Kimberly, you mentioned appeals. They will be forthcoming and state charges for other members of the Wolverine Watchmen still in progress, so still not over. We're live tonight. Sean Lee, Local 4, back to you. And about those appeals, Sean, uh, on what might they focus? You know, defense attorneys raised a question with the judge about a particular juror. We talked about this about two weeks ago, saying that juror may have told others he made up his mind and wanted to be on the jury before being selected. The judge allowed that juror to continue, so we'll see an appeal on that more than likely. Like you said, it's not over. Okay, Sean, we appreciate it so much. And shortly after the jury delivered their verdict, Governor Whitmer released this statement, which it says in part, today's verdicts prove that violence and threats have no place in our politics and those who seek to divide us will be held accountable. They will not succeed.